area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all out there that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. I know a lot of us seen the fight last night. Was it a fight? The bootleg fight? We watched it on bootleg. I know a lot of us did. I don't think any. I want my money back, and I seen a bootleg. I want my money back, and I didn't pay for this. I did not. But I want to call my cable company and tell them to give me back my money anyway. Uh, Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul. Uh, Floyd, I said this last night. Floyd didn't even need to do this. Like, what is, besides getting paid, how much money is there needed? Like, Logan Paul, Paul Logan, Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather was not a great fight at all. I mean, Mayweather didn't put him down, but I think he's more in so the entertainment realm now. He just wants to entertain by being out there for eight rounds and showing that he can still move. He's still fast, but he's not like fast, fast. You know what I'm saying? Like he's still fast enough. He's faster than everyone that's watching this. But that elite level of professional boxing prowess is not really there anymore, but he's 44 years old. If he fought one of the toughest newer guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, not new, 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 but a newer cat and a newer generation, he wouldn't beat him. I don't think if he, he trained for Sean Porter, he wouldn't beat him, or Thurman, he wouldn't beat him. I don't think he'd beat any of those guys right now. And that's nothing respectfully, but it's just a different era, a different age. And Floyd Mayweather, uh, he definitely does not, he was never known as a power puncher. And now it's like, bruh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are we still doing this? Let this go, Floyd. You made your money. You got to let this shit go. Shotgun Shug. Shotgun Shug. Shotgun Shug. I respect Shotgun Shug as an MC. I respect him for losing weight. I respect him for everything that he's done. And I got no issues with him. I like his music. You know, and what he does is a battle rapper. He's normally gatekeeper for a lot of dudes. He does nice work on big stages. He challenged himself to take a lot of the pens. When he, in that challenge to himself, he had battled a lot of pen guys. And I'll tell you, you know what I'm saying, those names and some of those names during that time and how I felt about those battles. And I'll read to you some of the things that he said, but the reason why I got to talk about what I got to talk about is because, dog, you got to realize something. And I'm going to tell you what you need to realize. Shotgun Shook said, it's time for the bully show to come back. Competing with pens was something in my career. I felt I needed to tap in, but the next nigga gonna be prepared for the whole shotgun sugar experience. The next person he got, I think it's A Ward on um, Battle Academy, respectfully. Um, A Ward did kind of troll him by asking him, yo, I didn't see the battle, but did you win a round? After most of the internet, most of Twitter, is saying like, yo, he got 30, he got smoked, he didn't win, he didn't win. So it was kind of like a lead-in troll thing, you know what I'm saying? A-Ward knows that all he had to do was scroll down his timeline. He's got a lot of followers. When you get 10, 15, 20,000 followers on Twitter, you don't have to look hard, especially with them battle rap. I don't have to scroll down my, um, follow me on Twitter at Butterfly. I think I got like 20-something thousand followers on Twitter. But when I scroll down, if I want to see something battle rap related, I don't have to look hard. It's going to be there. So, um, what I'm saying is Shotgun Shook said, you know, and then people was telling him, like, that's what you're there for. We're not there to see you be lyrical, metaphysical. Like, that's not you. Like, why get 10 years into the game and then change your stance or change what you're doing? If you came into the game as a bully, dunking on people, being Shaq, rim rocker, pocket checker, why do you wait 10 years later now you want to be a three-point shooter? Like, dog, it don't work like that. It's not effective. Like, with the, the styles that you're trying to have these battles with, it's not effective. It's not helping you. Like, battling guys like Danny Myers, JC's, the Rum Nitties. Like, what, what, that's not... <laughs> they dog walk niggas regularly. You challenging these pens, bro. Like, you're not going to beat these guys. I mean, I respect your bravery. I respect your level of effort i respect the fact that you're going out there doing it but your record and the, the is indicative of the people that you're battling you know what i'm saying like 
it's just like it's weird. It's almost like a paradox. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, you know how people say we're living to die. You know what I'm saying? That's one spectrum. But to say I'm dead but I'm alive, that's something totally, that's a different side of the pendulum. And when you're signing up for these battles, you're dead but alive. I could continue to go through that, but I don't want to do the psychology thing today. So, what I'm saying is, you could take the top five, I don't care who you choose as media, you know what I'm saying? Whoever it is, whether it be um, Angry Fan, Bias, Jay Black, myself, whoever the top five, right? And look at every single one of those recaps. I haven't seen any recaps besides my own. I work too much and I really don't watch recaps because I do them. I can guarantee you that every single recap that's been made has um, Danny Myers winning 3 0. And it can't be hate. We're not, it cannot be five different minds that are all hating. It just doesn't work like that. Now, if a battle is close, you're going to have a differences and variances. You know what I'm saying? You'll have one person feeling like one person, another person feeling like, oh, it's 2 1 going into the third. This one could go anyway. I don't think, I haven't seen anybody say that it was 1 1 going into the third. Every single recap. You see the titles like 30 keys, he got smoked, Danny continues his dominance. Like that's not those are not titles that are indicative of somebody who had a close battle. And I see you say today, and since a lot of people have been getting you on Twitter, uh Shug said, I don't care about winning and losing. I just hate when niggas think I lose. They run with a narrative that I didn't say nothing the whole battle. Clearly be looking the, for the slightest shit to say to bring my name down. I admit it, I lost, but it ain't how you niggas portray it. It is how it's portrayed. Bro, did you, have you watched it? I know you was in the moment. You know what I'm saying? I know you was in the moment. I know the battle was happening. Danny Myers won every round. Danny Myers won every round, clearly. Danny Myers outwrapped you. Danny Myers rebuttal. Danny Myers was in another fucking bag. It ain't just you. This happens to a lot of people. Like to watch someone niggas would have called me for Danny Myers, I would have took it. I made a like you didn't battle with him before, you shouldn't have battled him again. This was not the battle for you. I said in a recap, not even a recap, I said in a prediction blog, like if Danny Myers loses a round to you, one round, if Danny Myers loses one round to you, I feel spooky for him versus Real C. Because he's supposed to beat you. He is supposed to beat you. <coughs> Do you understand how this works? The nigga's one of the nicest in the world. I've been calling Danny Myers' name for like the last two, three years. Before it was cool to say Danny Myers is, is, is undefeated. Danny Myers is having one of the best runs ever. Danny Myers should win this and win that early. I was calling his name way long time ago. You can check the tapes. I've, I've been doing this. I've been seeing that he has a pen that's beyond real. I've been seeing he's been beating people. I've been seeing he ain't been getting the opportunities. This is Danny Myers' first known First, what the fuck is this his first known for? Danny Myers should have been on these big stages, on these big cards a long time ago. I know people like, oh, you know the marketability thing, and oh, you know, he doesn't wear bugle boy jeans, or he doesn't have on a Gucci shirt, or a fucking chain, and all this other stupid shit that has nothing to do with battle rap. Now, now Danny Myers is taking prisoners. He's taking prisoners in the battle rap game. And, and Arsenal, 30. If he just started Arsenal, what did you think you was gonna? You think you was gonna get around? You thought he was gonna make it debatable? Like leave Danny Myers alone. I heard Danny Myers says uh, J400 coming. He's going to 30 him too. Are you serious? He's not getting a round. These niggas are not getting a round versus Danny Myers. The best person that got a chance to get one or two is Real Sick. Real Sick is nice. He's talented. He knows what he's up against. He's seen people posting about Danny being undefeated all year. So he's gonna try to do what he needs to do, and I'm I'm happy for that. But God, J4 is not getting no round on Danny Myers. Are you fucking kidding me? What round is he getting? He, your little man, your little man is not getting a round on Shotgun. Oh, Danny Myers, I'm sorry. And there's no round in y'all battle. And another thing is um, people were saying that he was telling people not to react and shit. You kind of was salty when niggas was reacting. He was like, oh, this is gas. Oh, this is gas. Oh, y'all gassing it. Like, that was there. We, people saw that. So people reacted to it like, yo, you telling niggas not even to react? Like, we don't start acting like that. You started telling niggas not to react to the bar to the bars and shit like that. It don't work like that, you know? Shotgun should overall, I fuck with what you do. I fuck with your movement. I fuck with your music, your clothes and shit like that. But you gotta realize when you lose a battle, 
3-0, it is what it is. It's not a gentleman's story. It's not an, oh, this could have been, boo, boo, boo. No, Danny Myers beat you. He showed levels. I seen it again. There's bootlegs out there. I seen the shit with my own two eyes, my guy. You know, the niggas who've been doing this shit, been doing this shit for a long time for a reason. The niggas who drop recaps and they automatically start doing 10,000, 15,000. Like, you think niggas, you think 15,000 niggas is, is tuning in to watch these recaps for no reason? Like, because niggas got no intellect or no, no negligence of how these battles go? Hmm? Do you really? Y'all be, do y'all really think that? Like, if we didn't know what we were talking about, and we were just jumping in front of these cameras just saying anything, Malarkey, just hyperbole, just blaring out bullshit. Do you think that people would have such faithful fan bases? Come on, my God. You, you know like I know better than that. You didn't get one versus Danny. You got A-Ward coming up. I'm going to be honest with you. That's a battle. You, you're you going to need something totally different because A-Ward and Danny had a fucking debatable. Oh my God, I don't know why your advisors ain't forewarn you. And this is not a diss. I'm not dissing Shotgun Sugar. I'm addressing the fact that he thinks people are painting a narrative. And I'm telling you that, bro, people are not painting the narrative. You did not win, and it's like that. You think it's not like, like it's a close. It's not close. It's not like that. Like you, like niggas are saying, oh, like the B-Dot battle, that was close. You know what I'm saying? Like you did your thing versus B-Dot. I can see where if niggas are saying you got body, body, body bag by B-Dot, that's not so much. So you got that right to say that about that, that battle. This battle right here, totally different set of circumstances. Damn, he got you out of here, my guy. Respect. Game. One.